Jessie Draper, the Valley Girl. Valley Girl. Let's talk business. I'm like the Valley Girl. Billpin makes shared expenses easy. It's a simple app that helps friends track their shared expenses on the web or on the go. Darius Chung is the founder and CEO of Billpin. Well, here we are with Darius of Billpin. So, how are you doing? I'm good. Thanks, Jesse. Good. How are you doing? I'm great. Welcome to the Valley Girl Show in Singapore. Welcome to Singapore. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, okay, you're working on Billpin. Yeah. Um, and it's an app, right? Correct. So, what is it? What does it do? Well, it's when uh, you go out with friends for dinner and you pay, and usually there's always one or two who don't have cash with them, and um, you know you tend to forget that. And you know, you being a sucker, you always you you know, end up. <laughs> you always end up overpaying and never getting the money back. Right, right, right. Or maybe some of your, maybe your friends are nicer than my friends. So that's not <laughs> no, always I totally, the case. I've been in that situation before. I completely oh, really? understand. Who? Yes, no, you're on camera. <laughs> Who's that? Who I'll, tell you, right. I'll right. tell you later. I'll tell you later. So Billpin is an app for you to uh, very easily record and split the bill at the right. dinner table and record who owes you money or maybe who you owe money. So there is transparency, there's visibility between friends, and that kind of removes the friction between friends about money. Because friends are great, but you know, money between friends, yeah. not so much. What do they always say? Never a borrower nor a lender be. Yeah, Shakespeare, yeah. very good. Wow. <laughs> um, so what, um, what made you want to start Billpin? Uh, well, it's, our, it's scratching our own itch. Um, we've been having this problem for Wait, many years. <laughs> Scratching your own itch. Is that not a common That's expression? That's awesome. No, I love it. I'm going to use it all the time now. <laughs> really? Yeah. It's not a common expression? No, well, okay. I've just never well. heard it. Maybe, maybe everyone's Sorry. heard it but me. But um, I love that. I'm scratching my own itch right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's what we wanted to do. We've all, uh, to be honest, I've, I've, I'm a foreigner. Um, I wasn't born in Singapore. I've lived here for 20 years. I've always rented apartments. Um, so the original intent really isn't to chase, sucker, chase people for money, right? It really is to help, for example, housemates to split rent. Like I always, I paid, you know, the, the, the lump sum to the landlord. I need to split that and they split utilities and they split uh, internet and all of these things is kind of very troublesome. We kind of use a Google spreadsheet right now. It doesn't work very well. Scratching our own age, we want to build an app that makes it easy, fun, quick to, to do that. And this is not your first startup. No, you, it's not. Yeah. You also created 10 Cube. That's correct. And um, you sold that to McAfee, right? Yep. High five. All right. We do high fives in Singapore for acquisitions. It's oh, a big deal. We do deal. a lot more. What? Yeah, we do a lot more. You do a lot more high fives? More than, more than high fives. Oh, yeah. yeah that's in you the clubs at night, so. Do a lot more in the clubs. I like it. I like it. Celebration, right? <laughs> yeah. Singapore is not as boring as you think it is. Trust <laughs> me. I, I don't think it's Look boring. for me and you'll find out. You know what I've decided? I think Singapore is like Vegas plus Hawaii plus Hong Kong together. What do you, mm -hmm. think? Do you think? Yeah, that's yeah. Good? But, you know, in the day, you see people in suits and kind of pretend to be. Yeah. Pretend to be and serious. Formal and serious, right? But then it's so, really fun. It really is Vegas at night. And you just showed me like in the club. <laughs> Let's do some in the clubs dancing. How do you do that? All right. In the club. Okay, in I can do that. All right. In the club. No, no. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so what did you learn with your first company that you're now applying to your second? Um, that is an interesting question. I think it's kind of special being a startup outside of Silicon Valley, if you will, uh, especially in a tiny little country like Singapore. Um, it, it, we have kind of a bit of an underdog feeling. So I think the main thing I learned is really be patient and build it up and take advantage of the environments we're in. We're not, unlike Silicon Valley, we're not in a race to, you know, raise money, raise money, go to the next round, show, show adoption and so on. But so instead, we took advantage of the opportunity to really slowly test our hypothesis, find out what people really like, what people don't like. For example, our, our just, just our you know, UI testing. Lean startup, right? UX testing, just right. see what people click on, what people don't click on. Just that alone, we, we spent two months doing it, wow. right? So, um, and I think in the valley, people would think that you, you're kind of slow. It's like this is not going anywhere. You don't yeah. have traction after two months, yeah. right? But which is two months is <laughs> really no. short time, right? Um, so we, we kind of took advantage of that. I think that's one thing I learned that works in the for the advantage of Singapore startups. Okay, the that's, factor. yeah, I think yeah. that's a good. That's a very good thing to learn and that's probably very helpful going into your second company. So what is what do you feel like the entrepreneur culture is like in Singapore because I know my viewers don't know mm -hmm. as much about they probably let's assume they know nothing about Singapore. Mm -hmm. So how does the community here kind of support entrepreneurs? 
Well, I think Singapore has really grown to be a very vibrant um, entrepreneurs, especially tech startup ecosystem. So uh, we've got a lot of tech startups, a lot of great ideas. Um, a lot of them are very early stage still. So, um, and I think like I was saying just now, it's got a little bit of the underdog thing. It's got a, it's, but it also at the same time has a lot of support. I th we see a lot of foreign money pouring in. We see very strong government support. So I think venture capital in seed and angel series A um, are fairly strong. I think series B forward, you kind of need to expand overseas and look elsewhere. Oh, that's um, interesting. So, but in the early stages, the first two years of life cycle, the startups get a pretty good Good environment of yeah, and the government is very supportive. They right? are, yeah. Because that's not, I mean, a lot of um, countries, that's not true. The government is very supportive here. I feel like I always hear about them. You know, the government, a lot of people from the government are attending this tech conference, for yeah. example. Yeah. Yeah, they, they, they fund, fund the parties. Yeah, they fund the parties. <laughs> Where else do you get the government buying the booze for your parties, right? Oh, 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 oh shh. <laughs> Oh that, my goodness. That was off that. the record. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know about that. Um, but uh, No, well, but I'm kidding. I think the, the but the most <laughs> okay, that's it. Like, that was that was a joke. But the most important part is that it's it's actually beyond what the government's support, the active support, is much more about the environment. So we've I think in Singapore we've got very good legal structure, it's very stable government, mm -hmm. you've got good talents, great universities, it's a great I think the most important part is 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 the is a great place to live. Um, I think we've seen startups hire people from California, from New York, from France, from Italy, from Vietnam to India. Um, nobody has ever had a problem saying that I don't want to move to Singapore. And yeah. I think that's a very important thing. That's something that California had yeah. and Singapore also has, but you know, it's not yet a tech startup, but it's, it's, it's kind of a prerequisite to be able to attract people to move to Singapore very easily. So I think that's a very important thing. So what is one piece of advice you would give an aspiring entrepreneur? And here in Silicon Valley is kind of different. Anywhere. Anywhere. Um, well, I think like they always say, just do it. Just do just it. Do just do it. Just stop wasting time, right? Yeah. yeah. Just do it. Do you feel like you had that? You just went for it. Yeah, very uh, naively, but <laughs> I, I guess that worked for us. <laughs> yeah, I think that's good. You gotta be a little, you know, just. I mean, I don't think it's naivety. I think it's like. You just don't think. Yeah, you just don't think. You yeah, think overthinking think it anything. kind of paralyzes you. So it's don't so overthink it. Don't overthink yeah. it. One thing at a time. It's like if you're like sitting in your room at night and you think there's a monster in the closet mm -hmm. and you freeze and you get really, really, really scared, mm -hmm. but you o you're overthinking it mm -hmm. because there's probably not a monster <laughs> in your closet, right? Okay, I wasn't thinking about that, but sure, <laughs> that's a great analogy. <laughs> Um, so what are, what are you excited about at Tech Venture? Uh, Tech Venture, Tech Venture is a great, um, great event. I think a lot of friends are here, uh, especially a lot of friends who are usually overseas. Um, you know, my friends who are VCs in China, you know, Dave McClure is here. So um, it, it's a great opportunity for us, for me to meet them. Um, because otherwise nobody comes to Singapore, I have to go out to find them. So okay. having Tech Venture, landmark event like Tech Venture actually, uh, you know, gives gives it opportunity, a platform for people to come to Singapore and skills to come come here. So. Great, so everyone should come to Tech Venture. Yeah, everybody should come to Tech Venture. Yeah. Well, that's fantastic. Will you tell me one thing about Singapore that I don't know? It doesn't have to be related to business, but something that I wouldn't know about Singapore. Um, the, Singapore is famous for food to some people at least, and uh, some of, one of the most famous dishes are, are the crab, like chili crab and pepper crab. Um, chili and pepper crab. Yeah, exactly. The best chili crab and the best pepper crab are not in the famous places, not in the restaurants. They are really in the dirtiest of places, and I can show you where they are. Okay. And uh, I can send you the links to them. Yep. Yob is here, by the way. Yob just, just got here like a few months ago, so, oh. so I'm very ha happy about that. I um, can send you a Yob link to the oh, best yeah. pepper, pepper crab place in Singapore. Awesome. And they're not in the usual restaurants that the foreigners would take you to. Amazing. Okay, yeah, tell me later. I'm sorry, my only secret about Singapore is about food. I don't know what they say about us. So. Chili, chili crab. I love it. I'm so excited to yeah. try it. Alright, we'll that. take you to chili crab. Yeah, awesome. I'm like the Valley Girl. And I'm like Darius Joe.